Good. Okay, Miles Winner. Uh, where do I begin? Well, to say I'm proud of you sounds so generic because that goes without saying, and it's pretty much an understatement. The entire country has had a chance to get to know you the last four years. Through the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. But I have had the privilege, as your dad, of seeing how you have dealt with all the highs, but mainly the lows. I've seen how you handled success as well as how you've handled heartbreak and, away from the, and being away from the spotlight. One thing that you have carried with you is it doesn't matter what happens last year, last month, last week, or yesterday, but the goal is always to try to be better than the year, month, week, and day before, on the mat and in life. In life, awards are great, but what matters is how you use your rewards to impact others. Son, I must say you have handled it like a true champion, on and off the mat. Going from a six-year-old little boy that only signed up to wrestle because you were too young to play football at the time, to the young man you are today, all set to graduate from THE Ohio State University, and has probably made me the proudest dad in the entire world. Although I'm your father, and I've also give thanks to the coaches who've helped and shape mold you on the mat, but off the mat as well, because they were extensions of myself. Coach Rick Sassy, Coach Pete DiBiase, Coach Pete Welch, and Coach Joe Bakewell, as well as Coach Ryan and staff, along with all the other great men who have had a profound impact on the man you have become. Also, can't forget to thank your mom, who allowed me to take custody of you at a trying time. And to thank your stepmom, Charlene, who knew nothing about the sport and actually learned it, fell in love with it, and became a bigger fan of yours than myself, if that's even possible. What a long way from Pensgrove to McDonough School to the Ohio State University. Always honor and never forget where the dream started. While watching Burroughs, Bubba Jenkins, Robles, and Ruth compete in Philly back in 2011 when we attended our first NCAA championships. Seeing someone look like you and succeed completely changed the game. I would be remiss to not take the time to thank our Lord Savior Jesus Christ who has allowed me to enjoy this journey along with you. When I think of how grateful I am, I think of guys like Isaiah Martinez, Kyvin Gatson, Mitch McKee, Chandler Rogers, Willie Mickus, and others who have lost their fathers along this journey. So I realize just how grateful I am that God saw fit to still be here with you. May those guys find comfort today in knowing their fathers feel the same exact way that I do. I won't give you any advice for your upcoming match or matches because you have always been able to prepare yourself properly and one thing that has made me made our relationship strong is because very few conversations center around wrestling. So with that, I will say do what you do and be the best version of you. In closing, I want to thank you for being the best son any father could ask for. The way you have carried yourself and treat people has inspired even myself. By watching you, I have become a better man myself. You have taught me when you fall, simply get back up. When you succeed, you work even harder to remain there. Never get too high or too low on this journey. Just appreciate that there is a journey. You have carried the family name all across the country very, very well. And your impact in the younger siblings, brother Tater. And your sister Justice, as well as many others, will be felt for years to come. The words I have spoken properly, the same words the entire family would say to you. I speak for them all today. With that said, I leave you the same words I said to you on the match on March day back in 2016. I told you you was the best. Be you. Love that.